Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we are taking a look at Blessing Awodabu and Nicholas Walker. These two guys back and forth bickering on Instagram, on social media, things of that nature, and you guys, quite frankly, have been starving for a comparison between these guys. And this is the most recent version. Both guys, of course, Blessing, hot off the presses, and... I think the anticipation is sapped out of this one a little bit due to Blessing's placing. But guys, a third place finish, not too bad. And we don't know where Nick Walker is going to place at the New York Pro, where they will be meeting. But anyway, guys, let's do the comparison. And Blessing, I hear everybody say he has tremendous arms. He has awesome forearms. He has awesome biceps, but he lacks the tricep to make it complete. And I would wager to say Nick Walker would probably get him in this pose. He looks like he's in better condition. He has more of a balance as far as the arms are concerned. But if you compare waistlines, hey, no doubt, no doubt, blessing all the way. But then keep going. Look at the wheels. Nick Walker all the way. This is, unfortunately, the only front lat spread we have of Nick Walker. From the uh, Chicago Pro. Sorry, I didn't even mention that. It's him at the Chicago Pro. And it's very tilted, very blurry. There is this one here from the previous show that he did, the North Americans. And he is so small here compared to the Chicago Pro, I do believe, and the wheels. And his waistline. Do not even look at the waistlines, guys, because a Wodaboo, he would probably walk away with an easy victory in the front lat spread between these guys. So, it's, you know, it's still up in the air. Go to the side, chest development. Look at the wheels, guys. This is a different dimension altogether. It's a, it's a difference between an Olympian cont contender, I guess, and Nick Walker. He could, you know, he could try to get into the top 10 position, I do believe, at the Olympia. A Wodabu. It's just not going to happen with those wheels. And in the upper body as well, Nick Walker seems to be bigger, thicker, better mus muscle separation rather. Again, that midsection of a Wodaboo, structurally speaking, and he doesn't have bad calves, but structurally speaking, he has an outstanding bright future. But so does Nick Walker. Nick Walker's, you know, he's prime right now. Side tricep. Wodaboo looks good in this shot. I think when you look at the lag development, it looks slightly improved from the side chest. Obviously, it's the same version, but, you know, flexing it a little bit different. I just like the package that he brings to this. Midsection, the torso heap, far better than Nick Walker and his uh, arm itself. And one thing I noticed about uh, Awodabu, hoo He did, in fact, snap a patented hoo-ha pose position. I prefer the arm straight tricep flex, but this is this is a Robbie Robinson original, the way he's throwing this arm out. What an awesome hoo-ha. And he's even saying, ah, he already said who. Anyway, I bet you he did that for me. Anyway, there's a, there, there's a really good chance that he didn't. Back development. Rear uh, lat spread. And we already took a look at this one at the... Uh, the pre-show or the pre-judging video I, I released. And a Wodabu is just nowhere near. Not only the conditioning, but the size. That is a lot of back. You know, if you were to paint these guys. Say if you're going to paint them golden or whatever color. It wouldn't really matter. It would take two or three buckets of paint to paint the back of Nick Walker. Probably bucket bucket and a half for a Wodaboo. So let's get up to a couple of buckets of Wodaboo and you can be right in there in the hunt because he has awesome aesthetics, good uh, proportions. When you see him by himself, his back looks outstanding. Go to the rear double by. And like I said, a Wodaboo does have an outstanding package in this. Look at the arms. It's just the wheels need to, of course, get a little bit bigger. And he knows that. He knows that. Hey, he's in the stewing pot. Nick Walker... Again, guys, a couple of buckets of paint. That back is tremendous. Very good balance, I think. The upper and lower body of Nick Walker. Actually, very aesthetically pleasing from behind is Nick Walker. I mean, 
Guys talk about unesthetic poses for Nick. From behind, guys, some guys can look downright ugly from behind. And Nick Walker, very good balance, good lower lat insertions. And ditto with Odebu, but, or Odebu, sorry. But just not the size, not the conditioning. With the lack of ab and thigh, which Odebu may have won. We're right into the most muscular. And it is kind of taken out of the equation is is the judging of this one. Size-wise, muscle for muscle. Because Nick Walker, just inch for inch, is in better condition. Muscle separation, much better. But hey, a Wodaboo, blessing a Wodaboo. No disrespect to the, this man at all. This was his pro debut, guys. And it, it, sure, it was for Nick Walker as well. So I guess it's level playing field. But certain guys are, uh, you know, fine wines. Certain guys are uh, early risers. But hey, remember this, guys. The early uh, blooming flowers, they're usually not there in fall. Anyway, that's a flosf. Hit thumbs up on the comparison. I know you guys wanted to see this one. Obvious win for Nick Walker. But will that be a repeat? Will a Wodabu get in better condition? Will Nick Walker drop the ball? That could happen. All those things could happen. Going to be exciting. New York Pro. I love the Indy Pro. This is going to be even better, guys. Could come down to uh, Mustafa. Anybody. Hit thumbs up on the video. Have a great day.